a bar of dark chocolate. Let me just break off a piece. Uh, pretty good. But you know what? Maybe I shouldn't have eaten it. Hmm. So let's just restore it. Why do I even talk about this? Because there's a question that has been coming up. To eat or not to eat dark chocolate? Oh, isn't that strange? Isn't dark chocolate the variety that we've been told is full of compounds called flavonoids that have anti-inflammatory effects and anti-tumor effects and antioxidant effects and that supposedly keep us from getting heart disease and cancer? Well, the key word here, of course, is supposedly because there is no evidence that chocoholics are less prone to any kind of disease. All right, so why are we now being told, whoa, with that dark chocolate? It's all due to an article in Consumer Reports, published by Consumers Union, and uh, their researchers found that some dark chocolates contain amounts of lead that exceed California's maximum allowable dose level. Well, you know, I often say science is based on numbers, so let's start looking at some numbers. California's level of uh, 0.5 micrograms of lead per day uh, is less than that of any other regulatory agency. The US FDA has set an interim reference level of 2.2 micrograms per day for children, 8.5 for pregnant women, and 12.5 micrograms per day for everyone else. Now, why do they call it interim? Because levels of lead that cause developmental problems or cognitive problems are very difficult to pin down. And as more and more research comes to light, allowable levels have been reduced. So it is conceivable that there will be further reductions, hence interim. In general, when it comes to toxicity, whatever allowable levels are proposed have a safety factor of at least 10 built in, meaning that the dose at which some observable negative effect is noted is at least 10 times greater than the allowable level. Now, California arrives at the 0.5 micrograms per day limit based on the amount that could cause an increase in blood level of 1 micrograms per deciliter, which in turn is associated with a change of 1 IQ point. Since 1 IQ point is not very significant, and given that the 0.5 micrograms per day has at least a tenfold safety factor built in, it is evident that California's law is designed to err on the side of extreme caution. However, when it comes to lead, one can argue for extreme caution. So let's crunch some numbers and see where the Consumers Union findings leave us. The greatest amount of lead was found in a sample of dark chocolate, and that was 0.028 micrograms per gram of chocolate, meaning that one could eat 18 grams a day before reaching the 0.5 micrograms of lead limit. How many children eat 18 grams of dark chocolate a day? I would suggest practically none. And that is borne out by the National Health and Nutrition Examination Survey carried out by the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention in the U.S. The survey found that the amount of lead consumed from sweets by children is about 0.4 micrograms per day. That's way below the 0.5 micrograms. They get more lead from grains at 0.2, from fruits at 0.29, and from dairy at 0.19 micrograms. While chocolates make a minor contribution, the total amount of ingested lead per day can exceed California's stringent limit, but it is well short of that proposed by the FDA. So what then do we make of the chocolate issue? Both the benefits and risks of dark chocolate are overblown. To really err on the side of safety, children should not consume more than a few grams of dark chocolate every day, but that's hardly a concern because surveys show that they don't. 
Pregnancy also warrants great care, so limiting chocolate to about 15 grams a day is sound. How much is that? Well, this is about 5 grams, so eating uh, about 3 of these would be about 15 grams a day. As for everyone else, sugar and calorie content is a bigger issue than the lead content. So I really don't worry about eating a few of these every day. But neither do I think that it's going to have a beneficial effect on my health. And that for today is our cup of joe. Or should I say cup of chocolate? Well, less than a cup.